So it looks like a date, smells like a date, it is a date, but Power Query will not see it as date and will not change the data type. What do you do? I'm going to show you why it doesn't and I'm going to show you the fastest way to fix it. Let's get started. Okay, so I scraped this data from the internet and I have this column here, views and post date, and I would like to just get the dates from this column. So I'm going to go there, split column by delimiter, trust that Power Query knows what it's doing. Most of the time it does. In this case it does too, so you can see I have a column with just the dates. Beautiful. Now, they look like dates, American dates, my regional settings are English Sweden. So this will not, if I go to date, it will not work. If I change it to, let's go to change type using local. So you change it to the US, you can see, and then it's month, day, um, year, okay. It's still like get an error. And then you can say, oh, probably it's the dashes that it should be a slash. And it's not, it's still giving an error. Why? Well, let me show you the output of the script. So this is the script that I use, and this is the output of the script. It's an open the status frame, but then I save it to Excel. So you can see here the views is not views only, and dates is not just date only. It has a ton of HTML scrap in there that you wouldn't see it, but it's there. Power Query sees it. We don't. If you remember when we did the step here, split columns, you see the line feeder? It just grab some of it, but not quite. It just didn't really get it. So the easiest way to fix this is actually to use something that I normally don't use. I just use it for these cases. It's actually very good. So what you do is you select the column and then you do column from example. And then here you write the date, which is exactly what we want. 2024, right? And it picks the dates, it understands what it is and it cleans it. And here you can see that it did a text between the limiters and then it was like an empty string in the line feeder. <laughs> and then you can actually go with these and do date, right? And it does it. And then you can do the exact same thing with these, column from examples. And then if you just write 106, it'll get it. And then you can just changes to a whole number, okay? So you're probably thinking now, oh, I don't need to know any of them or anything, just, you know, column by examples, it will do it for me. And um, yes, yeah, sometimes it will do it for you, but the code that it generates is often not very good, depending on what you're trying to do. So for this case, it's absolutely excellent to at least give you a hint of what's going on. Then you can rewrite the code if you want to, but it's better at identifying what you are not seeing that you, okay? In this case, we could see what was going on because I wrote the script, but if somebody wrote the script for you, you're out of luck, okay? So I hope that this was helpful and I'll see you again in the next video.